Hello everyone. Today I'm re I am reviewing for you this. It is an LED light. No, it's just not your typical white round ball with a flat bottom. This is a light, an LED light, with a rechargeable battery from Lost Hack. Before I really get into all the intricacies, let me show you more about the round ball here. Of course it is white as you see. On the bottom, See this orange flap? Now, once you open it up, which, by the way, is a little hard to do, and I just cut my fingernails, so it's going to be a little tricky for me to get it open. Anyway, right underneath this, right in the center here, is how you charge it. They use a barrel charger. I'll show you that in a moment. It does come with a charger, but... Uh, I'll show you that in just a moment, but that's where you would charge it and then you would seal it up And this little red dot on the bottom is an on and off switch Okay Now Like I said, it does come with remote control This is what it looks like. Let me get it close. Hopefully my camera will focus in on it You do get an on and off switch the red button up here is on, the black one is off. The two white buttons here and here, that is to turn up the brightness or speed. Let me set this down. And of course, you got some preset modes right here from white and a couple of other ones, which I do give you a demonstration, but a little bit later on in the video. Right up here you can choose just either red, green, or blue. And underneath are different shades of those colors and you can just press those buttons. Like say if you wanted the, the red one but you don't want it red, you want it more of an orange color. You just simply press the orange button and away you go. Now, this remote control does come with a little piece of plastic that sets right inside the remote control, if I can get it in there. Just like that, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But what that does is, it separates the battery from the contacts, so it's not gonna work. So when you pull this out, make sure you pull this little piece of plastic out so the remote control will work. Now, the remote control does take a button cell and it is a little tricky to kind of open this up a little bit. I was able to do it earlier, but of course since I'm filming, it's going to want to be difficult. But I believe it's a 2032 button cell. Ah. See, it takes one of these little button cells right there. And you just simply push it back in, and away you go course you do get an easy to read and understand instruction manual it does come in a couple different languages as well and you do get this nice little sheet of paper and on the back it tells you about the warranty and how you can get a free extended warranty from Lost Tech on your light so do not throw this out read it pay attention and why not you're going to get a free extended warranty on the light. Might as well do it. Won't hurt. Last but not least in the box is the charger. Get a standard wall wart with an LED light on it. It'll tell you when it's charging and when it's fully charged. And that is the barrel connector I was telling you about. That you plug it in. Now let's get a little bit more into specifics. You do get a 12 month warranty on this light. Like I said, it does have an internal battery on here and that's 1100 milliamp hours right there. It takes about four hours from it being dead to fully charge. When I first charged it right out of the box, it took maybe an hour. Um, I did let it go down pretty much until it shut off. And it took about four hours, maybe a tiny bit less than that, but it took about four hours. 
One thing I will say though, now this isn't just for this light, but it's almost for every type of rechargeable item. Run your device, once you first charge it up out of the box, run it down until it either tells you to charge it up or until it shuts off. Usually about two or three cycles of you doing that, you'll start noticing a little bit longer run time on your devices, usually. It's not always true for everything, especially about smartphones, because there's a lot of different things that can drain your battery on a smartphone. But devices like this, usually after about the third charging cycle, you start tending to really get that nice long run time out of them. Um, and what I mean by a charging cycle, charge it up fully, use it until either it doesn't want to turn on or until you can notice a big, 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 huge difference, you know, like if it's not going as bright as it should, and then you let it fully recharge again. Usually when you get those type of charging cycles, it kind of conditions the battery a little bit better and you get... You can ink out a little bit more runtime, okay? Also, this is a, has a waterproof rating of IP65. So yes, you can use it outside in the rain. You can probably put it in a like on a, in a pool if you'd like. So that would be cool. But I probably, unless you make sure that this is absolutely this orange flap. You have to absolutely make sure that is completely in there before you put any type of water on the bottom of this because you don't want to ruin it, okay? Now this is uh, eco-friendly too. It is free of lead, mercury, and other types of toxic materials. So that's pretty nice that Loftec is trying to make something that is eco-friendly. Yes, I know it's made out of plastic, but they're trying to do as much as they can for the environment so that's pretty cool and it has a total of 16 colors that it runs through and like I said I'm going to give you a demonstration a little bit further on now this is the 8 inch version and Loftec did send this to me for free and I really enjoy this uh, little light and some of you may be saying well what can you use it for well, first off, you can use it as a night light. There is a couple different modes and brightnesses for the white aspect of it, the white color. And let me turn that on. And you'll get to see the different levels in the video that I'm going to show you very shortly. Because I don't think my camera is going to pick it up very well with all the lights on inside here. But you can use it as a night light. Um, like say in your child's room. You can have it turned on. And if you have the remote, once you know the kid is sleeping, boom, you shut it off and away you go. Two, if you have it in your bedroom and you don't want to wake up your significant other, you can turn it on so you can read a book. You can use it for party lighting, if you get, especially if you get more than one. You can use it for accent lighting, since it has all those colors, like during Christmas or Halloween, maybe even New Year's. You know, you can have a red, white, and blue type thing going on. You can make it look spooky by having it red. So you have all that. Plus, think of it as mood lighting for those nights you are home with your significant other all alone. So you can have mood lighting. So that's all the practical applications. I mean, for a party, you can go outside, boom, have it on in the middle of the picnic table. Have a couple of the, uh, say, citronella candles or the tiki torches burning. Great ambiance. So whatever you can think of, there you go. Heck, you can probably even draw on this thing and make a spooky, scary face if you want. You could put a mask on it and have it for Halloween decoration. So all that is up to you. So that is enough of me yakking. So let's get you uh, in the dark so you can see how good this really is. Mm -hmm.